1,000 subscriber mark and that 4,000 watch time hours in less than a year. The number one way I did it is to pick a niche that I'm actually interested in, that I'm knowledgeable in, and that I know people can identify with. For me, I have an affinity for women. I love women. I love to encourage and inspire women to lean into their femininity, to transform and become better women mentally, physically, and spiritually. And because I knew that that is something that I'm absolutely passionate about, I decided why not make a YouTube channel where I can share my passion, share my insight, share my wisdom and my experiences in life with other women who may identify with what I'm saying. So number one way to grow on YouTube is to be authentic. Don't make a YouTube channel about things that you are not knowledgeable about or about things that you are at least interested in. If you are trying to start a YouTube channel by copying somebody else's channel, copying somebody else's way, your YouTube channel will not succeed. If you are a person who doesn't know anything about finances, but you pick to, you choose to do videos on financial issues and you really don't understand anything about it, you will not come off as authentic because you're not. Um, so number one, in order to grow on YouTube, pick a niche that you are actually familiar with, that you're passionate about. I know some people say you shouldn't follow passion, but when you're talking about being relatable, and especially as the algorithm goes, YouTube will send your videos out and suggest your videos to people who identify with you. Most of the traffic, if not just about all of the traffic I've gotten to my YouTube channel has been from suggested videos, browse features, and recommended content. And that's because I'm identifying with a specific niche. So pick a niche on YouTube, number one. Number two, post often. For the first year of me doing YouTube, I posted just about every single day. You heard me right. I posted a video on YouTube every single day and I posted shorts at least twice a day. That might sound like a lot, but you have to ask yourself, do you want to grow on YouTube? Do you want to not have to go to the job that you absolutely hate? Do you not want to solely have to depend on your employment? If any of those answers are yes, then it's absolutely worth it. There are days when I did not feel like making a YouTube video. There are days when I had to make videos all before going to work. There were times when I would be up at night brainstorming different ideas on content that I feel would flow and that would identify with the audience I want to reach. So you should absolutely, in the first year of your time on YouTube, you should be posting every single day. And I mean posting relatable videos that just flow. When it comes to making YouTube videos, especially if you're in a more of a life coaching, um, you know, inspiration, motivational, you know, niche, if you're more in the self-development niche, you want to make sure that you're posting every day because you want people to become familiar with you. The more people become familiar with you, the more YouTube will see you as an authority in that space and suggest your videos more often to people. And then also, when you post every day, you are signaling to the algorithm that this is content that people um, should be uh, you know, hearing that this is good content. And then you also give YouTube something to actually read. You give the algorithm something to read. The more content you post, the more YouTube has to go off of and they know who to show your videos to. If you're only posting once a week or once every couple of weeks, you're not feeding the algorithm enough information about your channel in order to help it grow. So the first year of being on YouTube, I posted every single day and I also posted shorts. When it comes to posting shorts, you can post um, clips of your videos 
what I would suggest is taking portions of your video, the highlighted moments while you're in deep thought or you're in deep conversation, take a tidbit of that and then on the description or actually a little caption you can put across the video, highlight that moment. It might not be exactly what the video is about, but highlight that moment. Um, this might be considered a little clickbaity, but it does, um, if it identifies with what you're saying in the moment from my experience and what I've seen on the channel, it piques people's interest enough to get them to click on the short and then they go through your content and see, oh yeah, I see what she's talking about. I, I agree with that. And next thing you know, you're getting a lot of subscribers. Posting shorts often get you subscribers quickly. When I started the channel in July of 2023, I had 10 subscribers. And then by the time December hit, I had 300 subscribers. That's because I was posting shorts about things that were related to my niche, to femininity, to womanhood. I was taking clips of my videos and posting it. Also, utilize Canva. Canva is my best friend. I've been using Canva since before I started the YouTube channel, but I've been using it a lot more to post clips of my thumbnails and I post quotes and anything that might identify with my niche as far as womanhood. You know, I'll put cute pictures of women and I'll put inspirational quotes. I might put some trendy music, use trendy music. Doing all of that is going to drive traffic to your YouTube channel. And once again, because it's all about the algorithm, it signals to the algorithm that, okay, you are becoming an authority in the womanhood, femininity, motivational, life coaching space. So post every day. I know it might sound like a lot, but post every day. And I know some people are perfectionists and you don't want to post a video unless it's, unless it's absolutely perfect. I will tell you, the videos that I've gotten the most views on are the ones that I didn't have all mapped out. They are mainly the ones that I just felt it in my spirit and I said it and people identified with it. When you are a genuine person, when you are authentic to who you are, you will attract the right target audience that will help your channel to grow. So number two, post every single day and post shorts twice a day. I know that's an aggressive plan, but if you want to grow on YouTube, that's what you have to do. That's what helped me to be over and almost at that 3,000 subscriber mark in less than a year. I'm still not in a year. I'm in 11 months and two weeks right now. And I have over 2,000 subscribers and I've been monetized. I wish I could show you how much I've been monetized, but I got monetized on the 5th and I already have a good amount of income revenue from that. I'm not going to share that because this is a femininity and womanhood channel. So I'm very mysterious, but I am making money off of this and I'm thankful for it. I hear people saying, in my first month, I made $50, $30. I'm already over that in my first two weeks. And I'll leave you with that, okay? So be aggressive about how much you post on YouTube, number two. And then number three, share your content. If you want to grow on YouTube and drive traffic to your channel, you must share your content. I share clips of my videos on TikTok. I share my YouTube thumbnails on Pinterest. I show them in my private Facebook group, in my personal Facebook group, and on Instagram. Share your videos wherever you can find people because that's going to, again, pique people's interest and drive them to your channel. Also, make sure that you are responding to the comments that you get on your videos. Don't feel like you're too important to respond. I know as your channel grows and you gain more traction and a lot more people are commenting, you might feel like, okay, I have the audience. I don't really need to do much. No, engage with your audience because engaging with your audience, once again, it shows your audience that you are actually a real person that you value them. And when you show that you value them being there, they will continue to share your content and comment and like and subscribe. And once again, it comes back down to 
the algorithm. It's all about pleasing the algorithm. When you are able to do that by responding to the comments, don't feel like you're too important or too busy to do that. Put a heart and put a thank you. And don't put the same comment all the time. Actually take time to read through in the beginning and let your subscribers know that you see them and that you value them. So subscribing, letting people subscribe, encouraging them to subscribe and recognizing the comments that will help you to grow also because it's engagement. You want to be as engaged, as involved as possible, especially within the first year of being on YouTube because you are building yourself up as the authority. And then the last thing you want to do in addition to sharing your content, make sure that you are adding tags to your videos. I know some people said that adding tags, you don't really necessarily have to do that. Absolutely, you should. And when you add tags to your videos, don't just always use one word tags like femininity, woman, feminine, you know, ladies. You can type in something for myself, how to be a feminine woman, um, feminine versus, versus masculine energy. Type in actual quotes or sentences when it comes to your tags that's going to help you be found in the algorithm and not get lost on YouTube. So this was my video on how I grew um, and how I got monetized on YouTube in under a year. Post every day, engage your audience, share your content, and make sure you're using those tags. And if you are interested in femininity and all things woman, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. Take care.